So the other day I was out in public and I saw this couple, this couple together, and it honestly made me sick to my freaking stomach. The dude was like 22 years old or something like that. He looked like a total thug. He looked like the type of dude that loved to get in fights. Like he walked around a like ghetto looking for fights and stuff, trying to dog people. And he was with this other chick that was like in her early 20s. She looked like a total bookworm. She looked like she came from a, rec uh, a conservative family. A family who tried. They tried to send her to college. They tried to keep her away from the thug. You know what I mean? Like, she looked like she came from a good upbringing, but somehow the two met, the two fell in love, and now this chick is stuck with a total loser like this type of dude right here. This is like pretty much the image. If I could have taken a picture of him, it looked just like this. And uh, I don't know. It was obvious he was trying to get this chick to wear like some hot clothing and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, she looks pretty good and all that stuff, but you could tell she was super conservative. She came from a conservative family. And this dude, the dude came from, like, trash. The dude came from, like, zero bad upbringing. Like, I, I, he probably never worked a day in his life. He probably dropped out of high school, not in college. But I bet you the chick was. The chick's in college. I mean, this is just an unfortunate situation, this type of crap right here. I mean, he was wearing a, a, a bandana under his flat billed hat. He had a necklace on. He had an overly big shirt. High socks rolled up right below his knees. Baggy shorts. You know, his shorts hung so low that they were like almost like high water pants. He had this shiny silver tooth. He had two gold teeth like in his freaking grill in his mouth or whatever they call that crap. He was a gang-banging gangster. It honestly just made me want to throw up. And she was all blushing in public around him. Like seriously, he was making her blush. He had this chick. She was giggling. She was smiling. She was going like this. She was going, stop it! In that playful, flirty voice because he was grabbing her butt in public. And he was like making googly eyes at her. Grabbing her by the waist. Holding her close. And he was all being romantic with her, like brushing up on her neck and almost like giving her little neck kisses and stuff like that. And she absolutely loved it. I could see it in her face. She just absolutely adored this little freaking loser. You know, and this guy needs no money. He, he doesn't have to go on an actual date with this chick. All he's got to do is be broke, but be romantic with her. And all they were doing was walking around a mall parking lot. Just giving her little, like, kisses on the little neck and stuff like that. I guess the chick loved it because she was showing off to other chicks. Hey, look at us. Me and this guy, we still have that spark. That's something you don't have in your relationship. So, I guess it gives the chicks, like, a high. When they show off to other chicks and other chicks see that they're being romantic in public. Because most of the people out there... They've been in relationships for a few years or like they have a fat and bald husband that's not gonna pinch their butt in public and stuff like that. So it actually gives the chick, you know, it gives the chicks the high to show off that, hey, look at me, I got a romantic guy. I, I, we still got that spark. We're still getting laid and you guys aren't. So that gives a chick a high. I mean, that's the world that we live in. So you basically gotta get with a thug. A thug loser that doesn't do jack while you go to college and he hangs out all day. But hey, after school he walks around mall parking lots and he grabs you on the butt and he goes, uh, makes googly eyes at you and all that crap, right? Oh, because that's romantic.